Hi, so I did a video, uh, say last year, it was a, uh, for a presentation I did for the Jackson Node user group, uh, talking about uh, the Fastify framework. So if you're not familiar with uh, Node.js web application frameworks, um, there's a number that are pretty popular. The most popular probably being Express. And uh, I have a, a little proxy application I wrote a number of years ago uh, for essentially being able to get aviation weather, uh, getting real-time reports as well as getting uh, uh, terminal area forecasts. And so there's a, a series of services that you can call um, that are provided by uh, NOAA. And those services um, return XML. And so what I really needed for a mobile app I was working on was to uh, be able to get those uh, uh, the services but in a JSON format. And so I wrote a little Express app uh, a number of years ago for essentially creating a proxy just for getting the JSON. And so what I decided I wanted to do just to kind of give everybody an idea of like uh, what's in the process of upgrading. Let's say you want to go to an Express site to a Fastify site. So Fastify is becoming... Uh, a lot more popular of a web application framework uh, just in the last couple of years. It uses a lot of more uh, modern uh, Node.js uh, type of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, features. So, for instance, if you want to be able to use a sync and a wait, uh, these are all things that are uh, very common in the Fastify framework. So, with that, let's take a quick look at, uh, at what this might look like. And so what I've done is uh, I have this application here, and let me try to blow this up a little bit. Hold on a second. There we go. It's a little bit better. So what this uh, this application is doing right now is uh, just creates an Express site. I'm using uh, Axios as my uh, HTTP client, and then uh, I also have a uh, XML parser, a fast XML parser. And I'm also using this feature here, middleware for cores. And uh, so what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to, to uh, uh, essentially refactor this application and then do it as a, as a Node.js application. So the first thing I need to do uh, is I need to include Fastify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my terminal here. And let's install uh, two new node packages. I'll say npm install, and we'll do fastify and fastify cores. And I'm going to use the dash dash save flag to add this to the uh, package.json. All right, so I did that, and it seemed to do it fairly quickly. Um, now that I've done that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, something else I wanted to do. So uh, one of the things you can do since uh, Node 14 uh, is that uh, it gives you the ability of using a different module type. So for instance, if you want to use the import module syntax, it's part of uh, ECMAScript uh, 6 and on. Uh, you can do that by modifying your package.json. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add that in here. So I'm going to say type. And now that I've included the type, I'm going to add in module. Uh, by default, Node.js will uh, default to common.js. And now I've done that, now I can actually use the import syntax. So let's go back to the application here. And since I have that application syntax, uh, what I want to go ahead and do now is I want to replace uh, these uh, requires with uh, actual imports. So let me go ahead and bring in the Fastify. So I'm going to do that here. And now I've got the Fastify. I want to bring in uh, Axios and the XML. So let me uh, take that, replace that in the cores. And so now I'm actually using the import syntax here, and I'm bringing in the parser. 
and I'm not sure what I did with Corsair. Let's go ahead and delete that. All right, so now I have that. Now I can uh, actually create a fastify object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const, and we'll say fastify is going to be equal to fastify, and we're going to use a constructor here to add a logger. There we go. Now we've got our logger. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, this port in here because we'll probably need that. We don't need the express. So what we'll go ahead and do is let's go ahead and register our new version of cores and get rid of the express. We don't need express. All right. So there we go. So now we've registered uh, we've registered fast five. So now I need to take these routes here, and I need to uh, essentially turn these into Fastify routes. So we can actually do that. I'm going to go ahead and replace the app here with Fastify. We'll leave that route as it is, but I'm going to make a couple of changes here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to make this uh, an async function. And we'll change this to request. And we're going to change this to reply. Now that we have that. Uh, I'm still going to use Axios, but since I can use uh, a sync and a wait, uh, I no longer, right now, this uh, method right here is just using a then. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to say, I'm going to create. Let's create a new variable called XML because this returns XML and I'm going to say it's going to be equal to this get and then what I can do now is change this to request and I don't need that then anymore so we'll get rid of that. And so now we're getting the XML. We're going to need to process this. And so there's some, uh, some conditions here to see, check whether or not there's this MedR report that's being returned on this. Don't need this anymore. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. And let's go ahead and format that correctly. And parser looks good. Now what I can do is instead of doing response.json to return that like I would express, I can just say return. And that will return that. I'll do the same thing down here. Alright, and that should take care of our first method. And let's see here. Now I've done that. I want to do the same thing here with this second method. We'll make this a sync. Quest. And actually, make that reply. There we go. And this is also handling this as a promise. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And let's make this XML. And we're going to wait that. And now I think about that. I need to do the same thing here. And it's going to take that and return that. And so for this, uh, we can do the same thing. We can say return response.data. 
we can get rid of this promise syntax here. And that should take care of that. We're not going to be using this 404 logic. And then for the last part here, we need to do is uh, actually be able to start the application up. And so to do that, we need to do is create a start. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And let's say const start is going to be equal to a sync arrow function. There we go. And then inside of here, we're going to do a try catch. And if there's an error here, we'll just call that error. And now what we can do is we can say wait or await. There we go. Fastify dot listen. And we're gonna have it listen to the port that we created up above. And now we've done that, uh, we need to be able to handle that error. So if we get an error, we're just going to log that. Specify log, actually, error. And we'll just pass that error in, and we'll handle it that way. And then if we do get an error, we want to exit out. So we'll say process.exit, and then 1. There we go. And now we just have to start it. There we go. All right. Let me make sure we save this. And I'm going to try to run this and see what happens. So let's do that. We can run it by doing npm start. So make sure we type npm correctly. All right, so it looks like that started. So what I'm going to do to start this is I'm going to bring over a terminal window over here. And let's try this. So we're using uh, port 3000. So if I come over here and I do a curl, I can say curl, uh, we'll say HTTP localhost 3000. Now we should get an error. We have status code 404 not found, which is what I expected. But now we want to do uh, try to actually get an actual weather report. So let's try this again, but this time I'm going to pass in one of the routes that I defined above, and I'm going to pass in an identifier for an airport that I know exists. So this is Cecil Field. Run that, and boom! Now we're getting a uh, now we're getting the local weather there, uh, the current weather. Now I want to see if I can't get back the forecast. So I'm going to try doing the same thing here, but with a TAF instead. TAF is a terminal area forecast, and this time I'm going to pick KGAX as my airport. And we got an error, and it's because I made a mistake. So let's see what I did in mistake. So, mistake I made, I think I see the problem. I forgot to change that. So let's come back down here. I'll restart the server. And let's try running that again, see what happens. And then, boom, we've got our terminal area forecast. All right. So uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, how uh, easier, how complicated it is to actually upgrade a, uh, uh, an express site to Fastify. I, I don't find it to be that uh, difficult at all. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up.
Uh, if you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel so I can do more content like this. Uh, I'm trying to get my numbers up. Uh, and the more people uh, watch and talk about my videos, uh, the, the more that helps uh, YouTube's algorithm. And uh, with that, thanks and have a nice evening.